What up, what up, what up, what up, ladies and gents, ladies and gents, ladies and gents, hey. F the recession. F the recession. And when I say F the recession, I say forget the recession. I am not going to downplay the fact that we are probably... I Listen, listen, listen. The best way to go forward in the future is to understand everything that's going on around us, in my opinion. Pray and hope for the best, but plan for the worst. If you're going to do something, know how it could go wrong in every single situation and possible factor that you can so that you are fully aware, like, okay, I planned for this. And so when I hear recession, depression, whatever nonsense, now let me say this. I, I, and I said it in another video. I am probably one of the most realistic, pessimistic type of individuals out here. <laughs> I've been studying, and I wish I, I stayed with it, but back when Robert Kiyosaki talking about the dollar collapse, this, and I was looking at this stuff in 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12. A couple of years, and then one time it just clicked in my head like, yo, forget all this crappy talk about the world ending. Let me find out how to make business happen. And I got into real estate. Things are gonna happen. We are we have not seen a, a downturn since 2008. And allegedly it's supposed to happen in 2017, it's supposed to happen in 2018. It didn't happen, it didn't happen. Now it looks like it's gonna happen 2022, 2023, possibly 2024. We have to prepare and plan that. The rest of 2022, all of 2023, and hopefully by mid to end of 2024, we're stepping out of it. No matter what, though, someone is making money in the recession. Someone is doing big things during this recession. Whether it's in a stock market, which I do believe we have not seen the bottom yet. I believe it will go further, go lower, further, further lower. Real estate is correcting. I don't believe we're gonna see this big crash that everyone is hoping for, but I believe it is correcting. But let's let's understand something. If from 2019 to present day, we've seen a total of 40% 40, 40 appreciation, and then it corrects 20%, the property still appreciated 20% over the last couple of years, even if there is a correction. So I don't see prices going back down to where they were pre-pandemic, pre-COVID, but we don't know. But I can say this, certain locations like New York City, and I've had to go through that. I have to look at research. I had to go back and look at sales from 2008, 2009, as much as I could see. New York City is, is gonna continually be a popping location. We got eight million people crammed on top of a very limited amount of land. New York City is still gonna be a popping location. North Carolina, I've been looking at multifamily houses for sale in North Carolina. The inventory is still dead, still dead in North Carolina. And that's why I say, ultimately, there are still opportunities everywhere. F, F the recession. I We're gonna have to change up how we move, how we roll. We're gonna have to examine our work ethics. Straight up, because as a man, I have to examine my work ethic, my discipline, my consistency, my persistence, my mindset, number one. And the here's the thing, ladies and gents, in my personal opinion, so much of the rest of the world of people are gonna be average. They're gonna do average things. They're not gonna read. They're not gonna study. They're not gonna work out. They're not gonna say, hey, how can I improve my discipline in my life to become a better person? Most people are not gonna do that. And so if we decide within ourselves that we are gonna do that, I believe that we can win. 
if you state that I'm gonna I'm gonna dedicate two hours a day to learning the markets, to understanding stocks or crypto or real estate or these other asset classes that the rich are going to put their money into because they have to put their money into something. If we dedicate ourselves to studying these things, money is, to, is here to be made, bro. Wealth is here to be made. Opportunity is here to be capitalized on. And that's what I'm about. After recession, Let's double down, put our heads down, get focused, so that the next two to three years, we can place ourselves in a position of power. That's my mindset, that's my focus. I hope that's your mindset and your focus too. I gotta go follow, follow up with, uh, with the lead. I'll see you in a little bit.